YOVC, what's up? Bob here. Welcome to Vinyl Finds on the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. As you can see from the top of the video, we went on a bit of a records on the road trip. We went up to Cincinnati, Ohio, over to Indianapolis, Indiana, and then back home to Louisville, Kentucky. I found some smoking records, and we're going to get into them right now. Coming in hot, got this one at Indie CD and Vinyl. Broad Ripple, Indiana. See, I got this cool indie CD and vinyl shirt there. Yeah, very nice. And also this record. St. Vincent, Daddy's Home. Yeah, Annie Clark. This is a record primarily about her dad coming home from prison. It's kind of in the vein of uh, 70s New York, you know, rock music, rock and pop music, if you will. Annie did say that her intention was to make a very audiophile sounding record, uh, you know, something in the vein of maybe like a Steely Dan sounding record. It's a good sounding record. I will say this, it's it's very smooth, very produced. It's, a, it's the type of audiophile record that say maybe a Daft Punk record is. I really like it. This is the indie exclusive has the alternative cover and that's right the black smoke vinyl i really wanted this when it came out i just missed it and uh indie cd and vinyl had it for about 22 dollars in the new arrivals the in the used section and i just snatched it that's right super super happy to find it next got this one in cincinnati at everybody's music five dollars and 99 cents it is a record i have been looking for for quite some time willie nelson's phases and stages this is a fantastic willie nelson record probably one of the best redhead stranger obviously masterpiece shotgun willie is one of the main records that i am searching for hardcore right now in phases and stages there's some steel guitar on this that is outstanding. And Willie in his gut stringed guitar, it's a Martin guitar, Trigger, there's just a funkiness to it and a writing expertise that really comes through on every song. It's a really beautiful piece of work from Willie. It's on the Atlantic label. That's right. Regular two color green and orange. Was super stoked to find this for six bucks, basically. Um, it's very clean, plays really nice, and I'm super glad to have gotten it. Now all that is left is Shotgun Willie. Come on! <clears throat> Speaking of records that are just completely smoking, I found this one on Chess. Muddy and the Wolf. Holy smokes. Let me tell you a little bit. Obviously, you have Muddy Waters, Alan Wolf singing. But on side A, you've got Michael Bloomfield on guitar. And side B, you've got Clapton. Charlie Watts is on drums for a lot of it. Uh, Bill Wyman is on bass for a lot of it. Um, Paul Butterfield and Alan Wolf play absolutely devastating harmonica on here little Mississippi saxophone, if you will. Hubert Sumlin, Duck Dunn also plays some bass on there. I mean, this thing, Otis Spann is on here. This is a smoking record. If you like the blues at all, and, um, if you like British blues guys as well, you're gonna love this. This is an amazing record, really good. On the chest label, this one is so clean. Paid 15, nope, $20 for it. And I'm um, so glad that I did. It is really, really good. As you know, I'm a bit of a Blue Note bandit. So if I see clean Blue Note stuff, original presses that are clean, that are cheap, even if I own the record, if I have a reissue of the record or whatever, I'm going to buy the OG, okay? I was flip, 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 flip. And then all of a sudden I saw this one, Lou Donaldson, Alligator Boogaloo. This came out on the Liberty label, which this is. This is rather clean. This is a nice copy. Yes, I have the Blue Note 80. It sounds fantastic. But this was very nice. 
I was coming home. And, you know, there were some other good things there, but couldn't leave without this. I just couldn't. Really nice. Super happy to have it. Lou Donaldson on alto. Lonnie Smith on organ. Lonnie Smith's all over the shop on this record. He's just putting down all this organ. George Benson on guitar, and he's playing beautiful lines. Leo Morris on drums, and Melvin Lasty on cornet. Right. It's an interesting record. Good late night record. Miles and Monk at Newport. That's right. Miles Davis on one side, Monk on the other side. They do not play together. Two performances from Newport. The Miles side, you have the kind of blue, it says here, sextet, right? Basically, with train and cannonball. And then um, on the Monk side, I believe it's uh, Charlie Roos on uh, sax, but this is a two on a Columbia, rather clean. Also $15, super glad to have it. It was a hole in my Miles Davis collection that I've been trying to fill. The, you know, I'm mostly looking for the Miles stuff on Prestige right now. I mostly have all of the Columbia now. Uh, so I really need that Prestige stuff. There's a couple of Blue Note titles I don't have. So, yeah, this was really clean, really nice, and the right price. All right, here we go. Last but not least, this is a record that was released after Coltrane's death. It's, but for all intents and purposes, it is an Alice Coltrane record. It is John and Alice Coltrane's Cosmic Music, right? originally released on Coltrane Records with that gray and black cover with the design on it. Later, Impulse signed Alice and said, you should let us put this record out. We're, we're gonna put it out with a, a different cover and with the typical Impulse label. I paid $15 for this record locally. If you can see that, let me see if I can make that happen. Yep, I saw it when I was out on the road. It's in the video at the front here for 38 bucks, got it for 15. This one's very clean, super glad to have it. Coltrane plays on two tracks, Manifestation and The Reverend King, and it's typical of late period Coltrane. There's some beautiful kind of melodies that happen early on, and it quickly evolves into madness. I buy these records because I am kind of a Coltrane completist, but also because I'm trying to learn as much as I can from the master that is John Coltrane. I, you know, at some point, there's going to be a valuable musical lesson for me to learn from listening to these records. I will say this. If you're getting a little weary of hard bop and you're like, man, I've just heard so many Blue Note records right now. It's all starting to sound the same. This is a nice palate cleanser. Stick this baby on and listen to it for you know give one side or something like that and you're ready to go back to the hard bop that is for sure super glad to have it had a great time on the trip um we we had so much fun you know i'm constantly dragging my wife janet around to record stores and she's very patient with me and we pretty much hit every record store in the in the uh in those areas and it was it was really cool we had some excellent pizza and uh, stayed at a beautiful hotel and made our way home so if you like the music that was playing over the travel video there that was my band condors in the system you can find us on all streaming platforms and here on youtube that's right also um go to uh Indie CD and Vinyl's website and check out some of their stuff. They have these cool kind of Illuminati shirts. I like it. And if you haven't seen any of my t-shirts, you can go to the Bob Bradley merch store, which will be linked in the comments. That's right, folks. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend. Until we meet again, Bob out.